Hello there and welcome. Today we'll be doing with Wayek Biology Past Question. Question 1. Which of the following groups of animals do not possess a nervous system? Which of the following of animals do not possess a nervous system? A. We have the Polyphera. B. Snidaria. C. Platyhelminthes. And D. We have Nematode. Go again. Which of the following group of animals do not possess a nervous system? Now, Polyphera. In this group, we have animals like sponges. Now, they are mostly sponges in the Polyphera group. And these sponges are the only organisms, the only multicellular organisms that do not possess nervous system. Now, Snidarians, you find they do have, they have nervous system. Platinum meetings, these are worms that have nervous system too. Now these platinum meetings are referred to as flat worms. Also we have the nematodes or the round worms. They also have nervous system. So in this group, the only group of animals that do not have nervous system is the polyphera and I told you that they, these animals are referred to as sponges. Thank you and God bless you. Please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello, good day and welcome. Today we'll be dealing with Wayek Biology Past Question 2017, Question 2. The structural similarities in Paramecium and Euglena are A. Shape of locomotor's organ B. Blunt at anterior and pointed posterior C. Presence in micro and meganuclear in both D. Presence of anterior and posterior contractor now, structural similarities has to do with their physical features, the physical structures that are found in both Paramecium and Euglena. And this question is asking us for the similarities, the features that they both have, or the similar features they both have. That's a Paramecium and a Euglena. A Paramecium is found in the class Ciliophora. Why Euglena is found in Euglenophyta. Now, for this paramecium, let's analyze each of the properties listed or the features. Shape of locomotor's organ. For paramecium, the locomotory organ is the cilia. Now, for Euglena, the locomotory organ is the flagella. Now, these organs have different shapes, so this particular option is out. Now, B says blunt anterior and pointed posterior. So now, a paramecium has a slipper shape like this. It looks like this. And this is the shape of a paramecium. And a euglena looks like this, a spindle shape like this now this is the anterior and this is the posterior for a paramecium this is anterior for euglena and this is the posterior for euglena now this is the anterior it is blunt for both paramecium here and euglena here this is euglena this is the paramecium so it is blunt anterior and the posterior that's the underneath surface is what pointed for both so this option is correct now c says the presence in micro and mega nuclear in both a paramecium has two nuclei it has a micro nuclear which is the big one a micro 
a macronuclear which is the big one and it has a small one which is the what the micro now this macro can also be called mega nuclear but for a euglena cell it has only one nuclear or nucleus it has just one nucleus for the euglena cell so this is out presence of anterior and posterior contractor vacuole now a euglena has just one contractor vacuole but in a paramecium we have the anterior contractor vacuole which is located at the anterior base up and it has the posterior contractor vacuole posterior and anterior contractor vacuole so presence of anterior and posterior contractor vacuole is also out so our answer the correct answer to this question is option b blunt anterior and pointed posterior thank you and god bless you please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more of our videos hello good day today we'll be dealing with yek 2017 biology past question question three which of the following organisms cannot exist freely on its own which of the following organisms cannot exist freely on its own a we have chlamydomonas b we have amoeba c we have paramecium and d we have plasmodium now certain organisms cannot exist on their own these organisms are said to exist in colony now these organisms depend on other organisms of the same species now when these organisms live together in this colony there's kind of a division of labor where each species does a particular thing one species produce food one will be responsible for the production and the rest but they are the same species of organisms but each one cannot stand on its own so if any or if any of these organisms is taken away from the colony it cannot survive so these kind of organisms are said to exist in colony while organisms that can exist on their own organisms that can exist on their own that do not need other organisms of the same species are said to exist in free state or exist freely now the question is asking us for the organism that cannot exist freely on its own meaning the organism that can only exist in colony and i just explained what a colony is a paramecium can explain can exist on its own a plasmodium can exist on its own an amoeba cell which is found in the kingdom protista it can also exist on its own but the chlamydomonas a cannot exist on its own now a chlamydomonas needs other organisms from the same species now for an organism to exist in colony it must be dependent on other organisms from the same species so if a chlamydomonas depends on another cell like an amoeba you can't call it a colony no a colony must contain organisms of the same species so chlamydomonas cannot exist on its own a single chlamydomonas cell will not survive so it needs other chlamydomonas cell to survive so our answer to this particular question is A, Chlamydomonas. Thank you and God bless you. Please ensure you subscribe for more videos. Today, we'll be dealing with YEC 2017 Biology Past Question, Question 5. Which of the following cell organelle is the site for the production of ATP A we have lysosome B we have nucleus C we have mitochondrion and D we have ribosome now ATP refers to what adenosine 
triphosphate now this energy that is produced energy that is produced during respiration is stored in ATP so energy that is produced is stored in the f as ATP or in the form of ATP now lysosome is a cell organelle this cell organelle res is responsible for the containment of digestive enzymes now the nucleus the nucleus is responsible it, it helps in reproduction of cells reproduction cell division and the rest now the mitochondrion now this is the site of respiration it is referred to as the powerhouse of an organism now it is the site of respiration i told you that respiration is the breakdown of food to produce energy in the form of atp so energy now the site for production of this atp now will build the mitochondrion now ribosome ribosome is responsible for the synthesis of protein like i said the mitochondrion is the powerhouse of the organism and this is where this ATP is produced. Thank you and God bless you. Please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello, good day. Today we'll be dealing with YX 2017 Biology Pass Question, Question 6. An example of osmosis is the keyword osmosis in plant is a movement of water through the xylem b loss of water vapor from the stomata c translocation of food through the phloem and b absorption of water from the soil of the soil from the root or by the root now you ask yourself what is osmosis now osmosis refers to the movement of water molecules from a region of higher concentration from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration now osmosis like i said is the movement of water molecules from a region where the concentration is low to the region where the concentration is high now our options are listed above movement of water a says movement of water through the xylem b says loss of water vapor from the stomata and c says translocation of food through the phloem while d says absorption of water from the roots now our answer in to this particular question is d absorption of water of the soil from the roots now like I said, osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region of lower concentration. Now, mostly, the plant itself, the concentration of the plant is higher than the concentration of the soil. So now, due to this fact, the, the water now moves through a semi-permeable semi membrane, which is the plant tissues, to the pla from the soil to the plant. Now, if the soil was a very salty, maybe the contact of the soil is very salty, very, very, very salty. You notice that what? The soil begins to absorb water from the plant, and then you notice that some plants begin to dry up. But due to the fact that the concentration of the soil is lower than the concentration of the plant, the water molecules in the soil will move to the water molecules of the plant. Now, this is osmosis. And osmosis, for osmosis to occur, there must be a semi-permeable membrane now in this case it is the tissue of the plants like i told you so our answer is absorption of water of the soil from the roots now this is a this is an osmotic term this is an osmotic process thank you and god bless you please ensure you subscribe to our channel for more videos